Yardley has more structure than the first college I went to. I lasted a few months at one of those serious Ivy League pseudo-intellectual... Fantastic! We're always talking about going into Manhattan for a special weekend. <laughs> okay? Look, I'm gonna make a resume. Actually, I don't want to let my parents know I'm in town that weekend. Oh, why not? My mother's having her big annual fall gala, and she's apoplectic I'm not coming. Uh, you know, I told her I had a major paper due. Otherwise, I have to put in an appearance, and it's like death. It's like having drinks with a hundred bullshit people, not one of which has ever been turned down by a co-op. I can't believe it. An interview with the director of Winter Memories. <laughs> hey, didn't we see Winter Memories together on our first date? I think so. I'm just so excited. I mean... You have to help me come up with the list of profound questions to ask, and I don't want to come off like a twit. Are there any other questions you can think of that I can ask him? Find out who influenced him more on love, Denis de Rougemont or Ortega y Gasset. <laughs> How do you always know all that stuff? I read. I just don't read what they give us in school. I mean, do I really care who wins between Beowulf and Grendel? No, I don't. Maybe if I had a little money on it, but... I don't know why I'm so nervous. Just, uh, no college reporters want a Pulitzer, right? Josh. Hey, how are you? Going, man? Nice to see you. It's good to see you. Look, I just ran into Alvin Trolley. He told me you were oh, shooting a yeah, short film yeah, down yeah. here. I thought I'd oh, stop by. It's my hi. term project. It's nothing big. Nice, yeah. How's nice. uh, Yardley? Is that where you are? It's okay. I'm not really liking it too much. I'd rather be going to school in the city, but... You know, my mother, if it's not the perfect image, she bites down on that cyanide capsule she keeps for special emergencies. Oh, yeah. No, I, I didn't know that we use. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, listen, can I play your piano? Yeah, go ahead. It's a family heirloom. I make a day for golf, and you can bet your life it rains. I try to give a party, and the guy upstairs complains. I guess I'll go through life just catching colds and missing trains. Everything happens to me. Stole my castles in the air. Sent an airmail special to your answer was goodbye. There was even postage due. I fell in love just once, and then it had to be with you. Everything happens to me. That's pretty. The first time I kissed your sister was in this museum. I know, she told me. She said that you were looking at a Hieronymus Bosch and it made you feel romantic, so then you kissed her. And then she knew your shrink wasn't helping you. Okay, well, don't tell me she thought the kiss bars where no one else ever took her. <laughs> I did take her to her first scrap game. I know, and I loved that. I loved hearing every detail. I was hoping she would get serious with you because you were not like all the other idiots she did. <laughs> I thought you were a special idiot. Well, I'm glad I impressed you, Chan. I remember Amy came home and she told me that you took her to the boat basin in Central Park and made love to her. She told you about that? Every moist detail. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. That night she gave you a six. She gave me a six, Amy. <laughs> With an asterisk. She said you were a little tense. Yeah, well, Central... This is crazy. Maybe something's happened to her. Maybe she's in some kind of trouble. Raise 2,000. Maybe the story led her into danger. Maybe she was kidnapped or murdered. Should I call the police? Of course, then it would be so embarrassing if she turned up alive. Hey, kid. You gonna call or not? That's $2,000. Raise you. And I re-raise you. All in. Having drinks over candlelight and apparently exchanging sweet nothings. I was missing the ability in Scottsdale, but you know, not really a big deal. <laughs> Where's the guy's drink? Where's the girl? It's Scott. 
So, good luck, Francisco. We're all rooting for you. A gorgeous couple, as if they need our help. It's actually the same house I grew up in. Oh, so I bet you went to one of those fancy schools, huh? Yeah, I did. Is it true that all the kids there have charge accounts? It's like Berger, and Prada, and they spend lots of money and do lots of drugs and... Well, no, I didn't hang out with most of the kids. I just like to watch old movies and play my vinyl. That's kind of weird. Mm. So I bet you were a bookworm. Not really. My mother's this culture vulture. According to her, I must visit this museum or I must attend this piano recital or see this opera. I must read my Henry James, even if Henry James it puts me to sleep, you know? Oh. I like Charlie Parker. Who's that? Forget it. That's all right. God, you really are. saw you on television. Well, nothing happened. I'm really exhausted. I've been walking forever. And then I got lost on the train. Actually, you were with a famous movie star. <laughs> <laughs>